Welcome to The Garage Collective. As you can see, this isn't just a home decor store. I kind of feel like Kristen is a tastemaker. And so in order to get people into the store, she'll have really cool marketing ideas like hosting classes. So that's where I'm at today. She's gonna be hosting a floral decor and like a tablescape class. How to do it specifically for the holidays, how to do it if you're just having guests over. I'm super excited because I got here a little bit early. I'm gonna be getting like a crash course before everybody else comes and I'm gonna bring you along through the journey so that you too can learn how to create floral arrangements as well as set a table in case you want to on your own time. Hi, my name is Kristen Lewis and I'm the owner of The Garage Collective in Laguna Beach. Let's chat about Ashley. She is the florist who's gonna be taking the lead and guiding the tutorial. Hi, I'm Ashley with Heritage Bloom. I'm an accidental florist and stylist to the heart. I'm actually inspired to be working with two female entrepreneurs, people who are creative, people who are gonna be combining their networks so that Kristen can get people into the store and Ashley can talk and promote about what she does, all, both of them offering value to a customer and then I get to join on for the ride, talk a little social media, uh, learn a few things on my own and here's the best part is that they're gonna help you do the same at home while you watch this video. Visual design tips as denoted by Heritage Bloom. Choose two shades and two sizes of greenery. That's what she's bringing up right now. Choose two filler types of contrast. Choose two to three statement blooms. Like we have some statements going on. This is really beautiful. Like I think you're gonna make me look so creative and artistic. Uh, work with odd numbers. Don't worry, have fun and exhale. Namaste. Okay, so grab your tools. I'm actually really excited. To get the most out of what you buy, I always cut at the, um, the root of where the stems are. Okay. So to get the most out of each of the branches. Oh, cool. Do you see that? Yeah. Okay, and then once we do that, we'll get a whole pile of them together. Okay. You also have to clear off all of the stems that are gonna be touching water. So, oh. um, so at the end, you want a naked um, stem. Um, so you're gonna clear off, you know, about two inches or so. Okay. Because that's what's gonna go in the oasis. So vessel, Oasis, mm -hmm. naked stem. Yeah, I start in each corner, just placing. You, it, it'll kind of build from where you start, but. And I so, will you help me? Will each. you help me if it doesn't yes. look right? Yes, <laughs> you have to be honest so if I it do, doesn't work um, well. Just start with three in each corner, each of the opposite corners. Got it. I like it. I'm going to put the blooms in between the greenery, but this is just giving me a base to take up um, some of the real estate of the open space of the, the vessel. So I'm basically just mirroring you. Yes. Well, I mean, yours look a lot better, but. <laughs> so what I would do different here is maybe turn this to a different angle. So it's like falling. So it could be a 360. Oh, got um, it. So got it's it. Like spilling out. I didn't got really it. So that. I had it facing inward, which uh -huh. like lost its natural. And then it was like all of the blooms are coming. Got right here, it. But in order to get the most out of, you know, if you're going to have this on a table, you want to have everybody be able to see what's going on. So good. Okay. So good. So we start with this. That's looking beautiful. Um, it's coming at all angles and Got then it. the height, you have different variances of height. Um, and then, so I chose another tone of greenery just to bring in that moodiness. So you can kind of work with that if you want to clean off some of the ends and then just stick it where you want the eye to go. Um, with another color. So like this is your kind of base and then this is just gonna be an accent green. Got it. Just so that I have a quick review. Mm -hmm. I wanna make sure that I have a 360. I start off with like a singular color of like a base mm -hmm. and then we have a, a different type of foliage, greenery. Yes, but foliage. Yeah. Foliage, okay, so we have a different mm -hmm. color of foliage and we specifically just chose this color for like accents but also mm -hmm. to blend with the tablescape. Yes. The best advice as a designer is editing. And so one way I edit is based on um, color. So I try to keep things um, kind of in the same like monochromatic color story. Um, but it, it just depends on the time of year. But I also feel like that's numbers. like really good advice for like a business person. Uh, like very, less very is good. more. Yes. Like edit edit your business down so that you're doing yes. the things that are most important that and look pretty life. good. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Look so, at me and bring everything back around to business. Yeah. There we go. And then <laughs> okay. I'll just tuck one in. I love it. Okay. You're looking good. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, so another tip with roses, um, they start out like this, like a bud. 
Um, you can blow into the center. <gasps> mm, it smells so good. Um, and just keep doing that. Um, and then you can just like, gently open up the layers by working in a circular motion. Oh, and there's a couple different techniques. So if you like something with like showing layers like a, a, a ranuncula is, I really like that because that's just more my style. Um, you can actually get that look with really standard rows um, when ranunculus aren't in season by cutting the top of it. Pop off. <gasps> I mean, that's kind of a rough version, but that is so, so pretty. Similar. You can just make a lot out of roses. A pretty cool thing. Cool. Um, and roses are. Typically half the price. Woo! Yay! Pretty! Beautiful! Thank you so much for coming to our So we can use your little shorty that, yeah. that got broken. Okay. Yeah. And then we can use one new one. Perfect. Okay. And then, um, and it doesn't matter, you know, what you choose. It's just a good idea to stick with odd numbers. Got it. That's looking good. <laughs> so far. <laughs> I'm like, I'm nervous. I keep on waiting. I'm like, okay, you I'm go sorry. first. Yeah. Okay. So um, you start with a focal point, however that, like, to whatever height. Like, so if you want your focal point to be at that height, that's fine. So then we'll, um, what we'll do later is fill in the gaps with at the, the bottom. filler. Got yeah, it. exactly. Just okay. to cover up the oasis. Okay. So, um, so sometimes what I like to do is put uh, light colors together. Ashley had just said, one thing that I thought was like really interesting that as a creative, there's no such thing as making mistakes. Like you just learn how to work around the things. And I think I'm coming in to learn how to create a centerpiece, but you can always point it back to like life principles. Like there's no such thing as mistakes. We just got to make it work. Yeah. And at the end of the day, you add filler, right? Yes. Make, make it, yes. You make the mess really pretty. Yes. <sighs> Very true. See, like the petals fall off and, and it's still okay. So we'll just continue on like I would probably do like two of one color and then like maybe one of another so you look you're already naturally doing it so now turn it and then look at it from another angle so oh, what else do we want oh such yeah so, so what good. else do you need And that's looking pretty good. So the only tip that I would say is, um, and they this look is just too based high, on, right? Well, that doesn't necessarily matter. It just um, I think it's heavy over here with the red, oh, yeah. and then you know heavy. So yeah. it just depends on your you know what you see. But um, what I might do is maybe switch these two. I like so it. then that kind of takes care of the height. I like height. it. Okay. Areas. Oh, I like it. Um, and then we can start filling in the other aspects. So it's basically color blocking, right? Like there it wasn't go. color blocked. Yes. Like as good as it could have been. So I'm not going to finish mine. I'll come back to it. Um, but then we can. See the 